Welcome to the Printer Prop Shop. I'm Michael. So I don't know if you've been following Moon Knight as much as I have. I've thoroughly enjoyed it just like I have everything out of the Marvel Cinematic Universe. But today we're doing the compass from Moon Knight. It's a mystery maker's design. I'll link them below if you're not familiar with it. I'll link their Patreon and their Facebook page. So without further ado, here's how I did it. If you're tossing around the idea to subscribe to a Patreon for any props, I would suggest mystery makers. Marco designed some beautiful models and it's really cheap for the amount that you get. I haven't had any issues with them. Any problems I've had are my errors. He even has a Facebook page that you can ask questions or get any help with builds. I did end up reprinting these uh, just because of the wings and I address that in the next clip here. So I've got my pieces printed out and I just wanted to stop and show you this real quick. Um, I got a couple comments on a comment I made on one of my last videos about over basically overcooking in the UV box and that it doesn't really do anything. So to prove to you it does, and I, I did reprint the wings. Um, the reason being is one of them kind of broke on me and I thought I could use it, but it just didn't turn out um, that well. So I went and reprinted the wings instead of printing them um, horizontally where they're on the bed and that's how I broke it. I, I was trying to peel it off. Um, I printed them vertically and they actually printed just fine. This is an actual clear print and I'm hoping you can see it on camera, but this is clear, clear resin. This was set in the box for about eight minutes and it's a fairly small box. This, however, was left in there twice. So I did it once for 10 minutes and then the second time for eight minutes along with the other print. And if you can tell, I, I mean, I can tell in person that it's yellowed as opposed to being clear. So that was what I was meaning was if you were leaving your print in the original color of the resin, meaning you weren't going to paint it, be cautious on leaving it in the UV curing box. With the body, I did the same thing with the body. I just left that in there because I am painting all of this. So it doesn't really matter to me much, but you can tell the body has really yellowed as opposed to being clear. Now, if I was to spray the clear coat on this, it would have more of a clear property, but it would still have a yellowish tint. And that was what I was really referring to was that you could overcook in the UV box. So it's not gonna ruin the print, especially if you're just gonna paint it. However, if you're gonna leave it in the regular resin, watch your curing time. All right, now let's go ahead and get these painted. Anytime I'm painting smaller or lighter parts, I'll throw down some masking tape. What this masking tape does is holds it in place so that when you start airbrushing, your part doesn't try to fly away from the burst of air from your airbrush. Now, of course, masking tape isn't always 100%. Sometimes it doesn't want to hold. And in those cases, I'll go and pick it up, pick up the actual part and paint it. I do use acrylic based paint so if I do have to pick it up the paint washes off fairly well. Now the gold I went with is Tamaya's Greedy Gold. It does have a little yellowish um, look on camera however it was the gold I was really looking for. I think with a matte coat it'll turn out just fine along with the other things I have planned for the wings coming up and the weathering. I think it was the correct choice to go with. Now I did think about painting the bottoms of these, however since I did print these in a translucent resin, I noticed that the color bled through so I don't really need to go and paint the bottom and on top of that you're not really going to see the bottom, it's going to be sitting on the stand so I didn't really need to worry about that too much. So hand painting can be difficult at times and I understand that. Um, there are some times where I don't feel like doing a, a brush painting. However, it takes me back to when I used to make models as a kid 
and all I really had was brushes and regular paint. So what I did here was get my smallest, finest brush that I had, and kind of the trick to it is to put the paint on there sparingly and just kind of let it flow off of the paintbrush so it's more of a dipping it in and letting it spread on its own rather than brushing it especially in such a tiny little spot like that and I went ahead and did both wings that way just dropped it in and let it spread on its own and after the wings I moved on to the body the body I did in three different colors a blue the same as the wings and a green and a purple and I used the same process I just put a little bit on the end of my paintbrush kind of dabbed it on and let it spread on its own it, it worked flawlessly the only issue I really had was with my purple paint that kind of, kind of exploded on me for some odd reason it was clogged when I tried to squeeze it and it kind of shot out all over the place but other than that it came out really well after that I decided to go and put on the resin like I did on my Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle ooze container now again too this was already just leftover resin it was amazingly already dyed in blue I can't remember what I used it for but I just take the dropper drop a little drop on there and let it spread on its own and once I've got it all filled, I put it in the curing box, and really it's such a small amount that the curing only was about a minute and a half to two minutes. So I did want to show the artwork that's provided with your files. It's a beautiful artwork, and there is some assembly instructions with it as well. And since he did make different files for different ways to make it, it's all provided as well. So there's an attachment piece that's provided that makes it float and he just added a spring connection for it as well. For me, I just could not print off the actual attachment piece. I think it's just because my printers won't print that fine or I didn't make the proper adjustments for it. I just couldn't get it to print and I didn't want to waste time on it so I just used a piece of wire and it worked just fine. I decided I was just gonna keep this on the stand permanently and with the wings out permanently so I just used some Gorilla Glue, the gel kind, to affix it to the stand. And again, to just the, the wire was going to be on there and it wasn't going to move from the stand. I just glue it to the wire. I did have to drill out the holes a little bit for the mounting uh, pegs, but it took me all of maybe three to five minutes to drill those out. Now I will say if you're drilling into resin, go slow. The reason is your resin will crack and it'll just it can possibly just shatter the whole piece if you're not careful with it so always be careful with it so i went on to weathering now i took a small amount of matte black paint and mixed a good portion of water with it and started brushing it on normally when you do this you would brush it on and then wipe off the excess with a paper towel or a rag or something but with this being such a small project, the, the depth of those grooves for the symbols and all that is so small that you would just wipe it off so you're not doing anything. So I let it set a little bit longer and uh, then wiped off. So that's how I did it. If you would like to make your own compass from Moon Knight, I've linked it below to the Mystery Makers Patreon page and their Facebook page. Uh, the Facebook, you do have to go in, uh, it's a group, so you do have to uh, uh, follow and then it, it'll actually say whether you're, the admin will allow you to be part of it or not. Um, but if you subscribe to their Patreon, which is very cheap, like I said, um, you get a lot for the money. I want to say it's maybe 10 or $15 a month, and I, this month I got about six different designs, this being one of them. So like and subscribe them, um, subscribe to their Patreon. He did, again, he doesn't pay me anything for giving shout outs or anything like that. I don't get anything free. I'm just a big fan of them. Um, again, if it is one, if there is one Patreon you're looking to be part of to get files from, that would probably be the one. Um, also subscribe to their Facebook group. 
Um, the reason being is if you have problems with the files or anything like that, he actually pops on and helps. Believe it or not, he, he'll answer you through Messenger. So not to go on there and start bugging him, but he will answer you. So thanks for watching. Hope you've enjoyed the Compass build and have a great day.